<laughs> Long way to the microphone. <laughs>
victory song for us. So. Uh, they're not they're not in imminent danger anyways anymore. But you know, we're all in imminent danger, I guess, every single day. We don't know. But um, it, even though with the leg damage, she is so incredibly healthy. She's one that doesn't even get the colds or coughs. We don't even get flu shots. So we're, we're incredibly blessed that way. Most conjoined twins have many, many problems. And our girls don't. Who are you wearing? She'll sit here and wait all day. Yeah. Oh, you have anything you want to tell us? Yes. How did it feel rocking the runway? <laughs> Good. <laughs> what did you say when you walked? Thank you. And what did you say when you finished? Did. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so beautiful. After she walked down the runway, we took her in the back to be able to bring her out. And she just started squealing. We were all squealing. We couldn't believe it. In fact, I was, I was talking while she was walking. I was surprised I was talking. Um, and she was, and uh, all of a sudden, I wasn't even halfway done with my speech. And, and she was at the end of the runway. And this, it just all of a sudden, oh my gosh, she did it. It was like this nine years of just flooding back of, Gosh, I can't believe what it took to do that, and she did it. So, gosh, it was such a miracle. Again, another miracle. <laughs> so, yes. Do you still work with the Gibson family? You know, I don't work directly out there because we've had to go back and forth um, for so much treatment in Michigan. But Robin and I are the president and vice president of many kids on the board of directors, and we have uh, very close contact with them, and actually need to pray for them very hard because they're a fabulous family, and unfortunately they've gone through a very, very, very tough situation. And um, as we are all human, and that doesn't excuse anybody's behavior, but um, you know, keep them in your prayers because um, what they don't tell you, and this is the Christian part of them, is they've given about sixty million dollars to save children. Uh, international children. You'll never hear that in the news. Um, so we need to really, when we, that's a good point on, when we really judge people for their faults, we got to be careful because we don't know their greatness. And um, there is so much greatness in here, and this little girl is standing in front of you today directly because of their, well, their love, their gift, and their donation. So, um, you know, when we see these horrible things happen, let's pray for these people. We're all normal. <laughs> We could all screw up bigger than anybody else in the world, and hopefully we'll never have cameras in our face when we sin. But, so, just keep them in your prayers. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Yep. No, just a girl. <laughs> Josie really wants another kid, so she's, she's on this whole, uh, thing you get to go adopt again right now. <laughs> and I'm praying, God, what do you want me to do now? <laughs> developed in Poland. The people who developed it moved to Michigan. So Michigan is Poland and dreary. Why did you go there? So maybe by the summer they're actually going to be moving to California. But that's really, it's really a great program. If anybody's interested in physical therapy, I'd love to talk to you because um, there's some great things you can be doing now to get ready for a career in, in therapy. Yeah. Teresa Cajas. <laughs> Teresa Cajas. Yeah. They were born in Maria's. <laughs> I don't know why you named two babies with their heads stuck together, both Maria. But um, apparently uh, the grandmother saw that was a great idea. <laughs> Boy, that's confusing. Maria, and also when, when they were being born, I'll get you one When they were being born, apparently um, everybody fled the, the operating room because they didn't even expect to see two babies, not to mention with their heads stuck together. So you can imagine the horror of the doctors. So everybody went running. And all of a sudden they pulled these babies out and rushed them here and there in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, Guatemala. And the grandmothers go with them. The grandmothers are fighting over the names. They named them after themselves. Oh, I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, I missed the hand right over here. Yeah.
questions? Anybody else? Sister Carol, who is our president, 
uh, she's going to come up and make a little presentation to you, okay? I just want to say it's good to see Josie here at Century Sacred Park because we always see her at St. Bede's. And it's been a wonderful story and a wonderful, wonderful pleasure to have you here, Jenny. Thank you for having us. And for sharing such an inspirational and beautiful, beautiful story with us. It's a privilege for us to be here, girls, isn't it? To see and to hear this wonderful, wonderful story. So, come. Something special for you. Now look, this is for Josie. Little chicks in a basket. Oh, we have to show up here. Look at it. Is that not cute? And it's too long. Two chicks. And Jenny, this is for you. Life, beauty, green, living, loving plants. Not unlike the beautiful spirit that you bring. Thank you. Thank you. So humbled to be part of your, your assembly in your school. So thank you very, very much.